What's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an Apple Watch. Now this works with Series 1 and 2, so sit back and relax and let's get started. In today's illustration, I have the Apple Series 1 watch and I have an iPhone 6S Plus. So let's go ahead and show you the process. Now first I'm going to do is take the watch out of the box and get it ready to go. Now that it's powered up, let's go and take a closer look at the menu screen. So as you can see, there's multiple languages. I'm going to choose English. And then I'm going to choose United States. Now it's ready to pair, go ahead and open up the iWatch app on your iPhone. So I'm going to press iWatch, then start the pairing process. Now that once you put the app up to the camera, so there's the camera, just line it up. Now there's a couple ways you can do this. If you had it previously backed up, you can go and restore it from there. So if not, I'm going to show you how to set it up as a new Apple Watch. Go ahead and hit set up as a new Apple Watch. Now it's asking you which wrist do you wear it on? I wear it on my left. Now the Apple Watch has came a long way. If you look at the second generation, it's waterproof and it has a lot of cooler features for its speed and things like that. But this first generation is pretty good and it's on sale at most locations. So if you want to get an Apple Watch, you can get one at a pretty reasonable price. So let's go to the next part. These are the terms and conditions. So go ahead and agree. Now the next part is if you're going to use it as a workout tracker, you have a couple of different options here. I'm going to go ahead and enable that so it can watch what I'm doing here. Now it's asking me to uh, give the Apple Watch analytics. I'm going to say not to share. And then you also can share your settings. And then this is where you create a passcode. Now from the Apple Watch, go ahead and enter passcode. I'm going to enter four zeros. And then you're going to enter it again. Now this part is a little tricky. Do you want the iWatch to unlock your phone? I'm going to hit yes in this case, but you do have the option to say no. Now here is where you can use it for the Apple Pay. So if you go to a store, you can have your predetermined credit cards in the system and use your Apple Watch to go ahead and take care of that. Now I don't want to have a credit card on here for this demonstration purposes, but I'm going to go ahead and say next. The next part, do you want to use it as emergency SOS? In case you know you have an accident and you want people to know your credentials, like the paramedics, then you can actually give people access to this screen. Now it has tons of apps, so if you actually look at the Apple Store, you'll see that there's a little watch icon on the uh, apps that are available to send signals over here, like Uber and a couple things like that. But for now, let's choose later just to show you the setup. Now the phone and the watch is syncing, it'll be able to send your text messages, phone calls, and everything from the watch over to the phone. And there's a little line that kind of moves around. Another thing I want to show you is whenever you sign into any of your Apple IDs, you get this pop-up on your computer. As you can see, this is just telling me that I set up a new iWatch. And it pops up on all your Apple products that you allow. What this is doing is basically is going to use your uh, Apple Watch to do the iMessenger when someone leaves you the message. It's just giving it permission. Just go ahead and hit OK. After you get the watch set up, now you can start customizing it. Let's take a closer look. The first screen you're going to see here is your Apple Watch uh, menu. Here you have a list of uh, different notifications and changes you can make to it, but I'm going to keep it to the very simple one so this video is not that long. One thing you can do is go to the face gallery and let's say if you want another face beside Mickey Mouse, you just click on it and hit add. It drops down there and now you have that face there. Very easy. You can slide over, it's still Mickey Mouse, but let's say you don't want both of them. You go back to your main watch here and go edit where it shows my faces and then just hit the negative on the Mickey Mouse. And you can do that for any of the settings there. The second thing I want to do is show you notifications. Here, you have all these different notifications which you can go down and customize them with these little switches. Just turn them off and on, very easy. The next thing I'm going to show you is app layout. So if you pull, turn the watch on, you can see here's your applications. And they match up here. To actually edit them, you want to press and hold them down drag them where you want them, let go, and it changes right there. 
So if you use telephone a lot, put it right there. Now your telephone is going to be right there on top. You have general. The thing about general, this is where you can do all your software updates. You can automatically have the apps to update. You do not disturb. You can do all the different setups right there inside of this setup. Here you can change the brightness and text size. Here's where you can turn off your passcode or change it. You have privacy where you can have uh, your different heart rate and also your different uh, calibrations and data and stuff like that for the and then you have an app store down here. The app store allows you to add different types of applications that are really designed for the Apple Watch. And down here, you can just see there's all the applications installed. Uh, you can search for apps. It's pretty simple, very intuitive. Once you put it on, it's very easy. Just put it on there, and then you have this backward strap here. Well, that's my video on how to set up an Apple iWatch really quick. You can go into all these different menus and start customizing it, but I just want to show you the foundation of it. So if you like this video, give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you on the next video. Peace. <music>